What I Ate as a Vegan in Iowa. I recently visited Eastern Iowa, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City in particular. Cedar Rapids is the second most populous city in the state after Des Moines. Cedar Rapids has one vegetarian restaurant and no all vegan restaurants. I ate at the Full Bowl, the vegetarian restaurant. They had a really nice menu. I wish I got to go for multiple meals. They have somewhat limited hours as they're located in a food hall slash market. I got the chana masala bowl. I always love chana masala. It had a mango chutney and mint. It was extremely flavorful, really delicious. The mango was a little sweet, so I would suggest doubling up on the mint, which was nice and spicy and really herbaceous. I also got a side of the cornbread, which was delicious, and tea with mint. Iowa City is a big college town with 75,000 residents. It actually has one vegan restaurant and no vegetarian restaurants. I ate at that vegan restaurant called the T Trumpet Blossom Cafe. I got a salad with balsamic dressing, the falafel salad, and then wings. There's multiple flavors to choose from. I got the walnut parmesan seitan wings, which came with a really nice tomato dip. And I had never had a dip like that. It wasn't a marinara sauce. It was a little creamy, but definitely didn't taste mayo-based. That was really good. The wings themselves, they were fried, tasted delicious, but kind of tough to eat texture-wise. I had to get dessert from the vegan restaurant. I got two. I got a fruit crumble. I think it was plum. I couldn't quite identify. Amazing, delicious with a creamy cashew sauce on top as well as a chocolate chip cookie. Both amazing, highly recommend. In Eastern Iowa, grocery stores, particularly food co-ops, will be your friend. I ate two meals at different new pioneer food co-ops. Pictured here is the curried red lentil, also a couscous salad. I had it a second time where I got giganti beans, which are one of my absolute favorite things and a quinoa tabbouleh, and both were excellent, satisfying. You could eat bread, chips, lots of vegan desserts at the co-op. This will be important given the somewhat lack of vegan options in the area.